Doom carries a really, really, really strong legacy. Doom set such a high bar when it originally came out. It set the trajectory for modern first-person shooters that we know today. When you're dealing with such a strong legacy, it's really important to treat that with the utmost respect. That original E1 M1 riff is iconic. It is Doom. I wanted to find a way to kind of make that bigger and bolder. The first thing I did was made the riff a little bit lower. When you play the riff back lower, it feels more aggressive already. But I kind of felt that it needed to be lower still. I got a hold of a nine string guitar to go even lower. Then what I was able to do was reconstruct E1M1 using the nine string guitar while still incorporating those four original notes. Doom is here, it's claustrophobic, it's aggressive, it's brutal, it's tactile, it drills into your face, it's piercing, it's at you. Music in Doom really just tries to capture that complete lack of restraint. It's up close and personal. You have your hand down the throat of the demon. You're not hiding behind cover and running away scared. The MIDI soundtrack of the original Doom did a brilliant job of combining technology with metal. I was inspired by that to kind of see where we could take electronic music in 2016. Doom's gameplay is a really dynamic experience. You go from fighting demons in close quarter combat environments to fighting hordes of demons in massive vast areas. As you're playing, the music changes to reflect the situation that you're in. 